Hello everyone and welcome to uh, Marek Brada, uh, multi-tribute artist. <clears throat> and welcome to my first ever street tour on this uh, new group. And we're just getting some really nasty weather moving in, thunder and lightning storms. <clears throat> so that's not really good at all. It's still a very pleasant round plus 25 degrees. Hello, Allison. Hey Patricia. <clears throat> yeah. So I'm walking down my street. How are you all doing? I'll just show you the it's not looking very good. <clears throat> Actually saying severe thunderstorms overnight until the morning with even the possibility of a tornado um, formation which <clears throat> has never happened here as far as I'm living last 16 years. So obviously <clears throat> something is up to see well it goes. Cute doggy on the other side. <laughs> yeah. So it was a very nice day today. It's uh, eight thirty here and still clear outside. <clears throat> That's the kind of weather you're probably used to, Patricia, but not us really over here, but yeah. So I'm on Marcus Street, this is where my apartment is, the flat for people in the UK. You don't mind it hot, okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Just taking a short walk around the block. Hello Gervais, how are you? Welcome. as well feeling much better now that I took a couple of uh, days off and <clears throat> recharged my batteries and feel okay I'm glad I have a new group and uh, 
I've got Allison as my manager now and admin. <clears throat> so we're going to take it into a totally different direction. We're only going to have people on the group that actually care about watching my shows and bothering to show up for them. So um, the other group had nearly 1,800 members, but 99% was dead wood, so we're just scrapping that and moving on elsewhere. <clears throat> And those clouds are really ominous looking. Thank you, Gervais. And Jasmine has joined as well. That's good. I'll be doing new shows on the group as well as trying uh, different groups for the first time. So, yeah. Plus, Allison is in charge of my bookings for the UK and Europe. <clears throat> Hello, Lily, Liliana Mansi, welcome. You also said anything to do with it. Come on, the back page and the memory. Just taking a short walk into Old Town. The storms won't get uh, too bad. <clears throat> hey, Allison, welcome back. Hello, Jasmine, welcome. As you see, it's uh, full of people. Tourist season just begun. Summer is a couple of weeks off. Let's see. Traditional uh, Slovak outfit. We got up to about 25 degrees Celsius today, so that was pretty nice. Nice and warm. Just having a walk. Oh, 
Hello, Denise Nelson. Welcome, Denise. Yeah, very busy. I <clears throat> said the uh, tourist season is just starting up, so there are many of these wonderful souvenir shops. So we've got all these different magnets. Look at all these dancing figures. <laughs> Very nice. I'm in shorts and just short sleeves. There's the uh, castle. Hello, Barbara Gerard. Welcome. Ice cream place, just the perfect thing for Look at all the different flavors. Check out chocolate, yogurt, vanilla, oh. pink, bubblegum flavor. Caramel. Yeah, which one to take? Peach cobbler, that sounds wonderful, Patricia. And up there, you see that building 
straight ahead. That's the uh, rooftop terrace, which is the best cocktail place in the city. That's how it's so fucking so it's really like the city that doesn't sleep. It's pretty amazing. I just love walking these streets, seeing all the action, hearing all the different languages that are spoken. Um, we're a very uh, tourist oriented city. Restaurant and sushi bar, Tokyo. <laughs> okay. And that up there is called the Sky Bar, which is the best cocktail place in the city with an amazing view. Of course, I've never been up there. So um, I'd like to do a video from there sometime. Straight up ahead is the uh, U.S. Embassy. Mm. And all the uh, evening lights are coming on. Lovely trees, very lovely. So for everybody who asked me how I'm feeling, I'm feeling uh, much better. And four days I took off to recharge my batteries and all that was really good, just what the doctor ordered. And you can watch yesterday's show I did on Elvis Tribunati's group, which was Elvis' second album um, with all the songs from there. plus. The smaller uh, EP from the first movie, Love Me Tender. So it's right here on this new group, as well as on my YouTube page and lovely fountains. I love these old fashioned ones with the uh, planters holding all the flowers. It's absolutely beautiful. Hello, Joyce Marie Ronish, welcome. So this is the uh, fountain in front of the Hotel Carlton here in Bratislava, Slovakia. And it's a really lovely late spring night, almost summer. Unfortunately, we have storms moving in overnight, it's supposed to get pretty hairy. We're even talking about possibility of tornado formation. So, I don't like that one bit. <clears throat> and 
these cobblestones, one always has to be careful where you step. <clears throat> I'm very happy to um, have this new group moving in a different direction. I'm only going to have people join that are serious about what I do, my shows, and also I'm looking forward to coming to the UK for my first appearances. Hopefully, um, that will get locked in somehow. And Allison will be working on this as my new manager. She has big plans for me. So, let's see how it all goes. This is the old Slovak uh, National Theater, which used to house um, professional theater and ballet. This is a beautiful fountain. It goes back to 1888. Yeah, many people have said it's like a fairy tale. Yes, Allison, you're right. It's a very lovely place. Hopefully sometime you can come out and see it. Of course, the McDonald's. <laughs> Just so slowly make our way back. Um, before the rain and storms move in. And McDonald's here is quite expensive, it's almost like a gourmet place. <laughs> to show you this really lovely souvenir store and take a look at this carousel or merry-go-round just look at that isn't that beautiful Yeah, it's really wow. And Slovakia has a very rich history of puppet theater. And many of these puppets are all handmade, handcrafted, hand painted. But this is really lovely. Hello, Birdie Attack, welcome. And you see flowers everywhere. There's no filth on the streets. You can find different nice items, brooches, necklaces. Wow, lingerie. So don't forget to watch my uh, latest show on Elvis Tribute Artist Group that I did. And here's my alter ego body double. I have 
Near the same features, I was told I resemble Johnny Depp a little bit. <laughs> so, I don't know. And here's a Burg RK Inn. So it's supposed to be a Burger King. But This is the man in the this is a very famous landmark. There's one of the most expensive jewelry stores in the city, Sharon. That's where they sell authentic Rolex watches and things like that, so and they always put them in safes because this place has been robbed several times um, yeah so they got like Tudor and they got Breitling very famous uh, watch company but it's all A watch in here is on average about five, six thousand euros. Some go as high as twenty thousand, which is ridiculous to pay that much for a watch. But if you got it flaunted, okay. And this lovely old-style architecture is really wonderful as you can see hmm. now we're coming up to the center of Old Town which is in front of the medieval city hall French restaurant, the Papillon, which means butterfly. <clears throat> and a lot of uh, street artists. did my father's portrait Pamiętacie, wy jesteście kreslili moje chłopce. A no, pamiętam. A no, jesteście boli u nas, a na siebie. Ojciec zomniał w januari. O, ja mi to lubię. A no. Tak sam raz, że macie z pamiątkiem. A no, mam na pamiątku, hej. A no. A no, a no. Ja, ja tylko notified him, że mój dad passed away. He was. Yeah. Because he did his portrait, and now I have that as a lasting souvenir. God, I still, still miss Dad like crazy. It's only been five months. And time is supposed to heal wounds, but it doesn't seem to be the case with me. So I don't know. This artist had actually visited our flat before and Dad showed him his artwork which is up on the walls, all the Hollywood portraits and he loved it very much. So now that's my legacy after him. Hello Dave Cardwell, how are you? Dave is a good friend of mine, 
from Vancouver from my background extra movie activities and we, we were in many different productions together So this is the main, main Old Town Square. This is the original city hall that goes back hundreds and hundreds of years, practically to medieval times. You see the way uh, the windows are painted around in the different circles and that. And I'll show you one of these uh, indoor courtyards. There's always something to do here. Um, I never cease to be amazed. <sighs> so isn't this beautiful? Yes, this is actually my first street tour on this new group. Actually, see all those columns and that which are popular in medieval times. You know, these archways, I mean, you don't. Yes, it's nice to see some other members join and watch. And this is the rather ugly building, which is the new city hall. But this one across the street is the Primate's Palace, which used to be city hall a couple of hundred years ago. And it's all made of pink. So they also call it the Pink Palace. Absolutely gorgeous night to be out for a walk. Everywhere you see these street lamps with the flowers around them in the pots. The sky looks very dark and ominous, doesn't look good. So I better head on home. I have to make sure I don't trip over any of these cobblestones.
And it's all buzzing with these outdoor cafes, people having a coffee or a drink outside. It's wonderful weather. It is kind of humid, which signals the uh, incoming thunderstorms, but other than that, it's very nice. And this, of course, is the back of the outdoor market, which you've already seen on many videos on Saturday nights. Saturday mornings, actually, it's full of um, farmers selling produce, and also there's uh, record collectors, LP records, selling CDs, artwork, everything. So I'll show it to you from the front if you haven't seen it. It's also quite a beautiful building. So there are so many wonderful nooks and crannies in this uh, city. It's not that big, but um, it's perfect in size for everything. And. So I made like a big loop. Now we're heading back to my flat apartment. If it will be nice weather tomorrow, I'll take my bike out. <clears throat> Sometimes it's just nice to go outside, sit on a bench, and people watch. <laughs> I do that sometimes, just to kind of wind down, take it easy. There's always something going on during the summertime. I might take you tomorrow to see the uh, Danube River. It actually flooded its banks because there was some really heavy rain in Germany and Austria so um, it pushed it over so I'll go check it out tomorrow maybe shoot some video maybe go live here I don't know yet so I'll see It says 27 degrees, so that's wonderful. I wish the whole summer was around 25, 27 degrees Celsius. So that's around 85, 90 Fahrenheit. So it's after 9 o'clock here, after 8 in the UK. Might be doing my first show here on Saturday, or there's another group called Haven for Music Lovers. Um, so I might do a multi tribute show on there. Is anyone still watching? Because uh, I don't see any more comments. It actually stopped, so let me know if you're still there. Uh. And this is Bila, which is my store closest to where I live. So, yeah. Okay, Allison, you're here. Uh, is anyone else there? Okay, Gervais, thank you. Hmm. 
Now we have Alice Cooper coming here. We just had Sting last Saturday at a sold out concert. So there's always some big names coming here to do shows as well. Czech Republic won the gold in men's hockey. And now, even though I hate to say it, I'm rooting for the Edmonton Oilers to win the Stanley Cup as they're the Western Conference champions in the NHL. So go Edmonton. I don't want to see the Cup go to Florida because that's totally ridiculous for hockey. But let Edmonton return to the glory years when they had Wayne Gretzky on the team. This is a new store that opened called Vintage Shop. It has a lot of funky clothing items and everything from about anywhere from the 50s, 60s, 70s. Authentic. Men's section is downstairs. They have a three euro sale, so everything is three euros in the store. It's pretty amazing. So I'm just doing the big loop around and I'm back on my street, which is Market. Sneaker store. I love showing off my city. Uh, and this tram goes up to the main train station. You have one tram coming and you have another. They're very modern, air-conditioned, nice seats so it's actually a very, it's a pleasure to ride on them They're actually made by Škoda which is a Czech label that makes uh, cars as well and this is the bookshop where I met Julia Kaplan last week her latest is called the Villa in in Italy. So check out her books. If you like romance, then she writes with a very nice style, non pornographic like some authors do. Um, yeah. So we're coming to my apartment. Hello, Lynn Bronson, welcome. And I'm lucky I've got the police right across the street, so that's kind of a good feeling. And just wish me luck that the storms won't get too bad overnight. I already have extra water and all that ready and candles. Oh, I already saw lightning there. Yeah. So it's coming. Okay, and I'm back on, back in my flat, starter, that's a bar, uh, cocktails.
And it's nice and cool here on the stairs. So another lock up. Plus I've got a dead bolt and a chain. There's my trusty bike waiting for some action. So yeah, so I'm back home. So thank you very much for joining this uh, short trip right here on uh, the new group multi-tribute artist. So thank you all for uh, joining me and see you at the next show, which I'll on here. Good night.